a child when they grow up, um, they a parent can tell a child, you know, immorality, homosexuality is immoral. Under this ordinance, if you look at the page, they say that an employer cannot fire someone if they have education, if they're experienced, and if they have moral character. To some people, homosexuality, lesbianism, and transgender is an immorality. I don't know how they can see the stamp moral character into a sexual conduct. If you know, a homosexual one day gets hired, sometimes you don't know they're homosexual. You know, I mean, and you don't really care to know. But if he comes one day dressed up as a man and then the next day he comes dressed up as a woman, I want to have an, a right to tell him, you know, um, that's not good. And he should be, okay, I'm going to follow the rules or I'm going to get fired. We have 20 minutes left, so we will invite up on the against side uh, Sandra Rodriguez, Jonas Rodriguez, Jessica Rodriguez, and Abram Rodriguez. Well, thank you for allowing us to speak. I appreciate since you yesterday said that probably we couldn't. My name is Sandra Rodriguez. I am with the group America Forever, who you might may think that we are hateful. Um, on the other hand, I want you to know that we are not. Um, we don't dislike and we do not hate homosexuals or lesbians. America Forever has been fighting against the propaganda of homosexuality to the children for over 10 years. My father, who's a great man, died three years ago. He believed that if America ceased to be righteous, America would cease to be great. He believed that um, homosexuals would try to bring down America as a nation under God to elevate their agenda. I know that you do have the votes to pass for this Remember ordinance. Remember, we're asking you to speak to the ordinance. Okay, I'm going to talk about the ordinance. Okay. These ordinances are you going to be endorsing and validating sexual conduct and the children will be affected. It will be detrimental to the children. Um, I feel sorry for people who do have some sort of discrimination, but a lot of people suffer discrimination. People who are fat, people who are Hispanics, they all suffer. This law, the ordinance you're passing today, discriminate against every other Logan individual here because they would have to go to the state of Utah for their grievances, and only lesbians and homosexuals will be able to come to the mayor right here in town and make it easier for them. If you're going to pass this ordinance, you should think of the other citizens that live here that have other type of discriminations. I thank you and I beg of you do not pass this ordinance. It's part of a movement that exists in the country. You like it or not, there is a movement for over 20 years and this law is a back door for all that they want to do and you can look to California to see what happened with sexual orientation added to laws in the city. I beg of you, do not do that. All right, let's go over this side. Then we'll go over there. My name is Jessica Rodriguez, and I thank you for being able to be today, and I thank you for allowing to me express my free speech. Although some of you may think I am a hateful person, because I am with the Group of America Forever, in fact, I am Sandra's niece. Um, my family has been doing this for 10 years. And from what we've seen and from my experience in this and my research that I have done quite a bit, I've been doing research now since I was 16 years old on the subject, cities and states that pass um, laws on endorsing, well not even endorsing, these kind of laws, anti-discrimination laws, cities that pass these things are forced to educate the people. The sir here that just spoke before said he doesn't mind um, teaching kids with books like Heather Has Two Mommies. Have you guys read the book Heather Has Two Mommies? Have you guys ever picked one up? I suggest you guys go to Barnes and Noble and pick one up and see the things that are written in there. I don't think I want a four or a seven year old child reading a book that speaks about uh, that really doesn't have anything It to has to do with the ordinance, Mr. Monson, because I, I, it's I, what's going to happen to I've your read, city. I've read the book. Oh, you have? I don't see it has anything to do with the Oh, ordinance. it doesn't. I've read lots of children's books, and I have read that I one. hope this is going to be deducted from my time. Uh, no, you're not deducting anything, because you're not speaking to the ordinance. I am speaking We're to the ordinance. We're talking about the ordinance in Logan, not yes. teaching children. Well, the ordinance also states that we will be needing to educate people so they do not discriminate against anyone. That's and right. that is included teaching children. You may sit there and shake your head, and Holly Danes may sh sit there and shake her head. No, we're she talking can, about and you can put your you can put the head on your pillow at night. Her to sit down. 
I, excuse you me? You are speaking only about employment. I am trying, I am trying to speak about an about ordinance. employment and housing. I'm trying to t get there and you won't let me. No, Don't. I'm not going to have you speak about anything other than employment and housing in this community. Not about a book for children. I wasn't speaking about the book. I was speaking about you were speaking how you about, were going to adopt the book. Would you please sit down? I'm sorry, but your time's up. Let's go with the I other side. I have never seen anything more un-American. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're, you're just privileged to speak at all. I want you to know that because you're not from Logan. And you can give us your hand out. That would be fine. Now let's go over here or whichever you decided. I think it's you, Clifford, and I apologize to you for making a confusion there. Thank you, members of the council, for the opportunity to speak here today. I'm, my name is Abraham Rodriguez, and I am here to tell you to please oppose this measure. You have heard arguments about the right to work. Well, that is not true. Nobody has the right to work. They have the right to procure work. Nobody has the right to have a, a house. They have a right to find a house. Nobody has to be obligated to rent or sell their private property. You are now within your power to legislate that and to force them to sell or rent just because you want them to. You cannot tell somebody who they can hire and who, get the, who can, they can fire. An employer has the right to set the rules to his, to his workplace and decide how the conduct should be, should be handled. You can sit there and say that it's discrimination, but as has been pointed out before, discrimination can happen on a number of different reasons that we do not legislate. People have said here that it applies to both homosexuals and straights alike. That is true. But then again, the law also currently allows discrimination for both homosexuals and straights. There is no inequality in the law as we currently know it. <laughs> also, as has also been pointed out, this ordinance only protects on the grounds of sexual orientation. It does not protect you because of your race, your gender, your national origin. If, you want to, if you're being discriminated against that in this city, you'll have to go to the state, and that is a very lengthy procedure. If you want to be fair, you would have included those other classes. But the truth is, the only purpose of this is to forward the homosexual agenda. I thank you for your time, and I urge you to vote no, to think of the future, to think of the long-term effects of this law. It is wrong, it is immoral, and yes, the bill specifically says that homosexuality is immoral. You can look it up for yourself, Mr. Councilman, no matter what you say. Thank you. Thank you for this opportunity. First of all, I'd like to... Uh, uh, express my feelings that my daughter just spoke before and she's pregnant and I really think that uh, 30 seconds of uh, whatever she was going to say and I also believe that what she was going to say it pertains to this uh, ordinance uh, I think I better quote from uh, the Sutherland Institute I don't know if people have uh, uh, seen in the newspaper today but uh, it says, uh, why equate a person's private sexual behavior with the legal constitutional standard of a person's color, race, ethnic, or religion? These proposed ordinances are, have you considered how these new special rights would compete against long-established constitutional protections such as, this is very important, freedom of conscience, freedom of association and other aspects of the individual's religious freedom. One of the apostles of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints recently said that the freedom of religion is being attacked by certain uh, alleged new alleged civil rights. And this is the civil rights that can attack the freedom of religion. Because one, when you enforce something to a person and you make this person act upon it you are infringing on the rights of this person constitutionally this law is against whatever this nation stands for it's a law that only could stand in, in uh, support within a government today as we have today in the federal government as Obama and his administration all the czars in the White House are either yeah, I think you're off are base. either homosexuals you're or off, support you're the homosexual off base too and you're out of thank time. You. I'm sorry. Okay, thank you. Monson is yes. Danes yes. Olson, yes. The ordinances will pass. Thank you very much.
Please clap. We can say boo. Thanks for your hateful no, thoughts. Um, just for my boo. 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 Okay, you have 30 gays that came from Salt Lake. We saw you guys calling and bringing people from Salt Lake to sit here, and we know what you have to boo. Yeah, how many? How many are here? It's going to be a little disruptive.